Typhoon Infa may have left the country, but the southwest monsoon is still bringing heavy rains on the capital, Manila. Many streets are still inundated with water. 44,000 residents living in low-lying areas around the country have been evacuated and are staying in 81 evacuation centers, according to the National Disaster Agency. This is one of the evacuation centers in Manila City. Almost 2,000 individuals are now staying here. Each family is given their own tent. Mayor Jane Versosa is thankful that her family is now out of harm's way. Their house was flooded up to waist deep, but she says her worries are not yet over. I'm scared that we might get infected with COVID because there's a lot of people here. We just follow the health protocol. The country has tightened quarantine restrictions last Friday amid the threat of the more contagious Delta variant. Officials admit that they are struggling to ensure that temporary shelters will not become COVID-19 hotspots. Before the pandemic, when we need to evacuate people, we only put them in one shelter. But to maintain physical distancing, we need to open another one. It's true that this shelter has a health officer that checks every evacuee's temperature and monitors for any signs of a possible COVID infection. If anyone shows any symptoms, they will be brought to an isolation facility. Most of the evacuees in the shelter live along the coastal neighborhood of Paseco. The waves and strong winds have swept all this trash coming from different parts of Manila. The residents who chose not to evacuate their homes came here to rummage through trash and pick up plastic that they can sell in junk shops. They say life has been hard with the pandemic and also with the floods. And they say they need to do this to survive. Daisy Cristo has been picking up plastic since early morning and has already earned 200 pesos. She says she refused to go to evacuation centers. There might be virus there. At least here we know our neighbors are not infected. Like Daisy, hundreds of residents chose to stay in their neighborhood. They are more afraid of the threat of the virus than the threat of a raging flood.